Hey guys, what's up? Tim, we're doing a review here on the new Memphis Barbecue Burger from Carl's Jr. Uh, not too long ago, I also did a review on the Memphis Barbecue Sandwich coming from Burger King. If you want to check that out, link will be down below or in an annotation at the end. But being Carl's Jr., they took a different approach than Burger King. Burger King kind of went with that classic barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Carl's Jr. doing what they do. They put tons of shit on top of their burgers. And in this case, it's meat on meat. Straight up using meat as a topping for a burger. Now, honestly, I'm not really a big fan of that because I think a burger is a burger. You had condiments. Using meat, and especially pork and cow, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. And the starting price at $3.99 and holding in a whopping 700 calories. Let's go ahead and check this meat on meat monstrosity out. After the getting the burger unwrapped, first thing I noticed, barbecue sauce all over the wrapper, which honestly is a good thing. That means it's loaded full of sauce and I don't have to worry about it being a dry burger, especially with all that meat. Definitely looks a little messy, but we got that wrap to kind of help it out. But honestly, can't see much, so of course, got to cut it in half and get a better look. I'm somewhat disappointed right now. Like, normally I understand it doesn't look like the picture, but I was expecting to at least see like a nice stack of those onion rings and a nice hefty amount of pulled pork on the bottom. It really just looks like one big barbecue burger. I can't even differentiate anything in this sandwich. It just looks like tons of barbecue sauce with some meat. There is onion rings on top. They didn't go very heavy on this sandwich. It was kind of a disappointment because that seemed kind of delicious, but very simple burger. We just got that barbecue sauce, onion strings, cheese, meat, and then pork on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take a bite and see how it tastes. So for Carl's Jr. Memphis barbecue sandwich, the whole meat on meat thing, honestly, as I was expecting, didn't really work out. That whole beef taste and charboiled burger completely overwhelms and just dominates the whole pork flavor. Now they did put the pork on bottom, so when you take a bite, you do get a little bit of that pork taste. But the second you hit the meat, it just instantly overpowers it, like just completely shoots it down, which is kind of a letdown. It's like the whole point of the sandwich is that pulled pork, you know, with the barbecue sauce. And maybe I just didn't get a good enough amount on my sandwich, but honestly, the meat on meat thing just isn't working for me. But for the pulled pork itself, absolutely delicious. It was perfectly tender, it had plenty of flavor, even without the barbecue sauce. Somewhat smoky, plenty of flavor, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. If the whole sandwich was covered with just that, the onion rings and the sauce, absolutely a 10. But as the way it stands, I'm only going to have to give this a 6 out of 10 for the simple fact that my burger just wasn't really there. Because the same thing with the onion strings. I mean, the onion strings tasted great by themselves, but on this burger, they were kind of just covered up in just a glob of barbecue sauce, and you got just a slight onion bite, but there really wasn't enough to really stand out through all that meat. So if I had to compare this to something like Burger King's Memphis barbecue sandwich, I would totally go to Burger King, simply because just the whole charboiled burger is honestly overwhelming and killing the whole rest of the sandwich. But I know that's what Carl's Jr. is good at, is just adding stuff to the burgers, not making a new sandwich. If I'm going to spend the same amount of money, I honestly would rather go eat Burger King's. And their style of sauce did go pretty good on the burger, but eating the sauce by itself, at first it kind of had a nice sweet taste with a tiny kick, but then it kind of had this weird artificial corn syrupy aftertaste, which I really wasn't feeling at all. On the burger, you don't really taste it, but I tried some on the side by itself, and that artificial taste was just kind of weird. But if you're a fan on some meat on meat or barbecue, because the pork actually was delicious, but on the sandwich itself was just kind of weird. But definitely worth a try if you're trying to get that barbecue fix. So thanks for watching guys. Plenty more fast food reviews to come. And I'll see you in the next one.